a ritualist dam was discovered in Endo State recently and a man was however arrested and according to how it was reported the Edo State Police Command uncovered the den in Bini, the state capital. It was gathered that the ritualist den was uncovered on Wednesday evening August 17 in Akewa Road. Although details of the incident are still sketchy, a video shows that several human skeleton were found inside the den. Some of them were able to stand it alright why some of them they use them to lie on the floor and they lie them on each other one suspect was arrested by the police after they invaded the den which appeared to be an abandoned building that is the suspect that was arrested guys and according to what the suspect said he said that it was a mortuary honestly so if he said it was a mortuary, then I think they should look for a family member. There should be some kind of uh, document, names of those people, and a proper way of, of uh, carrying out a mortuary. Of course, there should be records. And family members of those people, uh, those cops, should be able to come out and say, okay, yeah, we seek for their services on this, we did this, we did that. So it shouldn't, you cannot just say it's a mortuary and they're going to believe you as if there are no normal due process of carrying out or, or, or establishing a mortuary. Well, the man would definitely be arrested and uh, questioned. And uh, of course, uh, he should be able to bring out other suspects as well because he, him, he himself cannot be working alone. He have other people who usually come there and who usually do all those kind of stuff. And I think if a police officer want to properly do their investigation next time mm -hmm. to capture the people, I think instead of if they are tipped off, if they are tipped off by someone that, okay, this building is used for ritualism, in order to get everybody involved, they should just uh, start doing investigation by, their, by going to the building, setting up a camp near, near the building, and just a camp like he didn't know near the building and taking footages of people who will come to the house and go out or who will come to, uh, they, maybe like they can decide to do the investigation for one week or two weeks you know people will come to patronize or oh, what is that building all about because now they have just busted the building and they just caught only one person and possibly that person might not decide to talk about anything he might decide to lie, he might not decide to say, or he might, only he might decide to go down. But there are people who are boss, who are boss, and who know exactly how that thing came about, who need to be arrested. Who need to be arrested. And even if this guy mentioned him, they might decide to deny. But with the investigation of police using pictures of showing how they, come, how they came there, all those kind of things. So I think the police should start uh, changing their... their Tactics on how they invade houses, on how they just rush into all those places. Because we cannot really get the truth out of it. They might have other uh, branches somewhere. So you have to get everybody. Get the head. So that when you cut off the head, the body will not be able to survive. But if you just cut off some part of the body like this guy, then I, I, I do not think it is impossible for himself to be walking alone. And I think it's just a... a someone who safeguard the house who is just kept there to just live there it's not the real owner of that place so i think the police officer should be able to do more and uh you know i'm happy we have seen a lot of uh, ritualists then body parts and all the rest but thank god this uh part of who have been caught and uh, they will keep continuing to uncover more check out this nasty story guys uh it's about two brothers who were arrested at over attempt to murder the boy who beat up their sister in Delta State. According to DSP Bright said, this suspect on Ankov, Uche Owo and Idiri were on their way to Pisu in Wari for planned murder of one boy who beat up their sister. Our men intercepted them and recovered one cut to size gone. Thankfully, the boy they plan to murder has, has escaped. 
someone beat up your sister you think that the best thing for you to do to that guy to teach him a lesson is to remove him from this world but this is what the story they said oh they said but i don't think that's actually true though if they do their investigation very well they might discover that they were going for armed robbery or doing something courtesy it's not maybe that that was just one of their story they just decided to establish just to cover up at least say you want to do this to someone beat or sister a little bit uh, you get lesser sentence than saying you are an arm robber or you are a courtist no you get lesser uh, sentence ritually then was discovered in a do state recently and a man was however arrested and according to how it was reported, the Edo State Police Command uncovered the den in Bini, the state capital. It was gathered that the ritualist den was uncovered on Wednesday evening, August 17, in Akewa Road. Although details of the incident are still sketchy, a video shows that several human skeletons were found inside the den. Some of them were able to stand it right? Why some of them they use them to lie on the floor and they lie them on each other. One suspect was arrested by the police after they invaded the den, which appeared to be an abandoned building. That is the suspect that was arrested, guys. And according to what the suspect said, he said that it was a mortuary. Honestly. So, if he said it was a mortuary, then I think they should look for a family member. There should be some kind of uh, document, names of those people, and a proper way of, of uh, carrying out a mortuary. Of course, there should be records. And family members of those people, uh, those cops, should be able to come out and say, okay, yeah, we seek for their services on this, we did this, we did that. So, it shouldn't, you cannot just say it's a mortuary and they're going to believe you as if. There are no normal due process of carrying out or, or, or establishing a mortuary. Well, the man would definitely be arrested and uh, questioned. And uh, of course, uh, he should be able to bring out other suspects as well. Because he, he, he himself cannot be working alone. He have other people who usually come there and who usually do all those kind of stuff. And I think if a police officer want to properly do their investigation next time to capture the people, I think instead of if they are tipped off, if they are tipped off by someone that, okay, this building is used for ritualism, in order to get everybody involved, they should just uh, start doing investigation by, their, by going to the building, setting up a camp 